Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Technical Talks Kapitara. Today we are going to talk various securities that can be applied in MicroStrategy. The reason why I chosen this topic is recently we celebrated Raksha Bandhan which symbolizes protection and security of your sisters. So the same way, let's see how and in which ways we can provide securities into MicroStrategy. So if you know MicroStrategy, I'm sure you must be aware of the two things why MicroStrategy being a costly tool is still it's a very much used industry wise. The reason is it's an enterprise BI solution and at the same time, the security in MicroStrategy is uncomparable, unmatchable with most of the BI tools. You want to have the security at the project level? Yes, we do have. You want to have the security at the object level, each and every individual objects? Yes, we do have. You want to put some row level restrictions? Yes, we can do that. So these are the different types of securities that is being provided in MicroStrategy at the project level, object level and the data level. Let's go and see one by one. So first of all, we are going to talk about the project level security. As the name suggests, uh, once you log into your MicroStrategy developer or any of the tool, you go to your project source, you choose your project. So within that project, what kind of action you can do or you cannot do. So this is being defined by your privileges. So privileges is tied to some kind of functionalities, whether you can access that cube, whether you can access that report, whether you can edit that object, whether you can access any of the MicroStrategy tool or not. These all functionalities are tied with some kind of privileges, which is being driven at the project level. Okay. There is something similar term called as permission. We will see this very soon. But at this point of time, do remember that project level security is being implemented by privileges. Let me show you uh, some privileges example, uh, how they look like they are uh, available in MicroStrategy and they are separated by application and then the functionalities. So if you see here, uh, this is like uh, your web reporter uh, application and within this you can see that whether you can uh, web change view mode whether you can at the web level whether you can uh, view that or not whether you can print or not So like that there are multiple ways you can put it different different privileges at the project level This is going to be applied at the user groups and to the security roles All right Next thing we are going to talk about is the object level security. So as you know in micro strategy Every single thing needs an object. It can be an schema level object. It can be application level object or it can be a configuration level, level objects. So once you take any of the object, see for example, <coughs> I'm sorry about my throat. Yeah, so consider any kind of object or any of the, say for example, any folder or subfolder, you want to put some kind of a permissions. So in project level, we have seen that we used to have privileges. In object level, we have something called as permissions. So permissions is basically tied with ACLs, access control list that tells what kind of access you have enforced to that object. So let's see an example here. Yeah, so once you right click any of the object, whether it's a metric or folder, you can see that there will be something called a security and when you go to that security under properties you will see that different users it can be admin it can be developer or any everyone or any kind of a user group that has been created then there will be two parts one is object another one is children so this is very much applied when you talk about the folders like whether you can have the access to only that object or the children of that objects like subfolders in if i'm talking about the folders so you can give different kind of uh, access like read access, modify access. Those kind of accesses can be given full control you can give. Okay, or, or even you can decide your own custom access as well. So once you get uh, go to that option, you can see different options there. And one interesting thing that you can see here is you can take ownership of that object as well. So say for example, someone else has created this object and you having the admin access you can take the ownership of that object and also how you want it to be applied to your children objects you can do that uh, say for example there are one folder with multiple subfolders you can apply at the recursive level like each and every subfolder level you can put that 
permissions. Hope so far we are good. Project level we have applied privileges and object level we have applied permissions. Now third and most important thing that you, uh, you will see in most of the BI tool is to have the security at the data level. That means each and individual row level. Okay. So say for example you run a report data set or any kind of intelligent cube that you have used. So how you want to put a restriction to that one? Like uh, if your users are from the north region of the uh, north region of the geography and you do not want uh, them to expose the south or east region data, then you can put a row level security or the data level security. That means each and individual rows of your records or each and every rows or the records can be uh, secured using security filter. Okay, so this security filter is basically an application level object which is responsible to provide data level security. So security filter, how you can do is say for example, uh, this is your user, okay, you want a user or user group, whatever it is based on your need. If you right click and go to the property, you will see that security option is there, security filter, okay. Again, different projects will be shown. In this case, it's a micro -shady tutorial project. Once you go there, you will see that multiple kind of uh, security filters are there, if not there, you can create here itself okay so security filter is basically like a normal filter only the main difference here is it applies to the users and the user groups and another as important aspect that you need to remember about security filter is that security filter applies onto the attribute it doesn't apply onto the metric so say for example uh, as i was taking talking about like the north region users so you can bring in the region attribute put it here in your uh, security filter and you can select the attribute element as a north. So that's how you can create a north region. In this example, it's showing like central region. Okay, so in that means, that means uh, this particular user will have the access to the central region data. Okay, so that's how you can provide row level security. So hope you like this video. Uh, I thank you all for bearing with me. And if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe with your friends. Thank you. Have a good day.